What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, checking out what's new with the third beta of iOS 10, which is mostly bug fixes with a few feature changes, and we're gonna take a look at those. The biggest news with this beta seems to be sound related, so we get a new lock screen sound effect. So when you lock the device, you now get this short click instead of this more echoey sound we've had for quite a while. So if you wanna take a listen to it, I'll leave that right here. Also new when you lock the device is vibration feedback. So if your phone has a taptic engine, you actually get taptic feedback. It's very similar to the new mute effect. So if you mute the device, you get a taptic feedback as well. Also returning from the first beta is the new keyboard sound effect, which had reverted to the old sound effect with the second beta. So that's returning here. And again, if you want to take a listen to it, here it is. They've also updated the collaboration icon in the upper right corner in the notes app. So again, this allows you to invite people to contribute to your notes document. HomeKit gets further tweaks. If you go to the HomeKit control center, you see we have a new icon. And if we go to HomeKit settings, we can now control which device acts as a hub for our HomeKit setup. And in this case, you have the iPad or the Apple TV. The health app has also been updated with an opt-in feature that allows you to share your health and fitness data with Apple to improve the feature. So if you want to, you can go ahead and opt in, or you can just check it out and update this later under settings. 3D Touch gets another really minor change here. So if you 3D Touch on a third party app, the share feature now includes the app's name. So you know exactly what you're sharing. So if you're not familiar with this feature, basically this allows you to share shortcuts to those apps so other people can download them and you can share them via Twitter, messaging or whatever. If we take a look at the music app under library, you see that we have downloaded music which reverts back to the first beta. So in the second beta, this originally been renamed to download. So I don't know why that is. This may go back with the fourth beta. So we'll keep an eye on that. Also returning is the option to edit your library so you can remove folders, add folders, or just rearrange them. Apple Music Search has also been tweaked, so it now prioritizes your library first and you can toggle over to the Apple Music Library if you prefer. So that's kind of convenient since I think most people are searching for their library, not Apple's library. Apple has also changed the language to playlist. So instead of just downloading, you're subscribing to the playlist. The idea here is that the playlist is updated with new content as time goes on. They've also made a tweak to the lock screen. So when you swipe right on the lock screen, you get to your widget panel. So when you scroll up, you can see the clock sort of merges into the status bar. And then when you scroll back down, it comes back out of it. So again, a nice little visual tweak. And because iOS 10 opens up the API to Siri, we now have an app support setting under Siri settings. There is another new feature that's available under accessibility that sort of restores a feature from iOS 9. And that's the ability to unlock your device just by resting your finger on the touch ID sensor instead of pressing it. Currently in iOS 10, you actually have to press the home button in order to unlock it. So if you wanna get around this, this is available again under accessibility settings. And lastly, within Safari, you can actually save items from Safari to iCloud. So you'll now see an iCloud share sheet. So this allows me to see my iCloud folders and I can save the item to the appropriate folder. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick look at the third beta. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know and I'll see you again in the next video.